Hey guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my top 10 tips for staying focused during the school year. Before we get started, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you end up enjoying it and subscribe so you won't miss out the last few videos I have planned for my back to school series. Now let's get started. So the first tip I have is to have a designated study area. Establishing a designated study area, whether that's in your room or in a specific study room, is super important. I find this useful because whenever I come to sit down at my desk, I am aware that it's time to start work and studying. Whereas if my study space was merely based on my bed, then it's easier for me to procrastinate and do other things, such as using it for the actual purpose of it and as for a bed, it's to sleep on. Additionally, making sure that you have everything you need on your desk or at least somewhere close to your study area is super useful in helping you stay focused. This is because everything is within your reach, therefore it eliminates the chance of you getting distracted in the process of looking for something. My second tip is to make sure that your room is clean and you know exactly where things are. As I always say, a clean room is equivalent to a clear mind. Knowing where things are located in your room is extremely handy when it comes to doing work or assignments. Instead of spending hours looking for those couple mild liners you missed placed during your previous study session, you can save time and effort by regularly cleaning your room and forming the habit of putting things back after using it. This way, if you do end up needing to look for a certain utensil during a study session, you can locate it immediately and go back to studying. My next tip is to only write down your top three priority tasks with specific steps. I am aware that it's often unrealistic to have only three things on our to-do list as busy and overwhelmed students. However, I find that just listing the top three priority tasks help me feel not as overwhelmed and more willing to get started with the tasks. When it comes to making your to-do list, I recommend not only writing down the task itself, but also designating a period of time to do it, as well as break it down into specific subtasks. For instance, I wrote down that I wanted to film and edit this video. My subtasks would include filming it, editing it, making the thumbnail, recording the voiceover, making the introduction, adding overlays, and eventually exporting it. My fourth tip is to get rid of all electronic distractions. This one is quite self-explanatory and probably nothing revolutionary. I'm sure deep down we all know that our electronic devices are one of the biggest factors that's hindering our focus, whether you admit it or not. You can of course choose to use self-control restriction apps such as self-control on your Mac or Forest on your iPhone, which essentially blocks your access to certain entertainment websites or whatever websites you want. Personally, I just like to keep my electronics away from my desk area, but ultimately I do want to achieve the state where although my phone is around, I'm disciplined enough to not look at it, but in the meantime, it just seems that I have to actively put it away somewhere out of sight. My next tip is to listen to music that help you stay focused. That could be white noise, ASMR, or just simply nothing. Personally, some of my favorites are lo-fi music, which just put me in the mood for studying, and sometimes I do like to listen to K-pop, which is honestly debatable whether it actually helps you stay focused, but personally it works for me if I repeatedly listen to similar songs so that I'm already used to them and I'm not really listening for the lyrics. However, it's up to you to choose whatever music you want, just stay genuine to yourself and don't take this as an opportunity to explore music.
My next tip is to go with the flow of what your body tells you and what I mean by this is identify if you are a morning person or a night owl and personally for me, I enjoy and it's pretty natural for me to wake up at around 6, 7 o'clock in the morning so I do like to get started on tasks early on during the day. I find this quite important because once you identify when you're the most focused, then usually your productivity levels at that time is much greater than all other times combined. So if you can, just take advantage of that period of time and obviously you still have to study during other times. My seventh tip is to get enough sleep, exercise regularly, eat a relatively healthy diet, and drink lots of water. I think we all know that getting a sufficient amount of sleep is important to literally everything, so I'm not going to explain the science or whatever behind that. Sometimes I find exercising every now and then is useful because it helps me de-stress and I like to do that during my study breaks. Same thing goes with drinking enough water and eating a relatively healthy diet. I find that I'm more focused on doing my work when I eat mostly healthy for my three regular meals, whereas if I eat McDonald's for lunch or dinner. Honestly, what I just said may or may not just be a personal preference since I feel like some people find it the same, but aside from studying and staying focused, it's still important to eat a healthy diet. My eighth tip is to study in small increments of time, so study for 25 to 45 minutes, then take a 10-15 minute break. Sometimes studying for a long period of time, such as 2-3 to three hours, may seem productive in itself, however, as time goes on, you also lose focus. For me, while I do enjoy taking breaks, if you watched my other videos, you would have heard me say that I do like to keep working if I am super into something. However, I do always try to limit myself to 2 hours. My ninth tip is to surround yourself with motivation. This could mean lettering and putting up motivational quotes and sayings on your wall, make your electronic wallpapers something that inspires you, following inspiring individuals on Instagram such as anyone in the study community, and most importantly, surround yourself with positive and motivating friends. My 10th and not actually the final tip I have for you guys is to de-stress and get rid of whatever thoughts that's stressing you out. I personally have two ways of approaching this. The first one is doing something else that completely distracts me from being stressed. So for this one, I like to watch Netflix, watch YouTube, edit YouTube videos, just anything that helps you de-stress. And my second way of approaching it is somehow getting rid of those thoughts and the most effective I've found is writing it down. All you really need are just pen and paper and I write down basically what's stressing me out, how I may be able to reverse it, and then lastly I write down the things I am thankful and grateful for. Now to those of you who have watched it till the very end, first of all, thank you and now I'm going to share something that I'm sure everyone wants to hear, which is if you're really not focused in the moment, try again later, in the meantime, procrastinate productively so at least you get some work done. 
And that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe so you won't miss out more of my back to school videos, and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys!